Welcome to the Citadel. Rail and Alamo here with Citadel Catholic Media arming you with the sword of truth. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We are continuing on in our series of The Family Matters, Part 5. Tonight we're going to talk about the leadership in the home and the husband's role as decision maker. Now the scripture verses we could use to reference this are going to be uh, Ephesians chapter 5, uh, Colossians chapter 3, and 1 Peter chapter 3. The familiar verse is this. Wives, be submissive to your husbands. Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. And what's happening there is that the church is continuing to guide us. And because this has always been a struggle, we have the church guiding, but as since back in Genesis, Satan was seeking to divide, and he continues to try to do that. So it's not anything new in the New Testament. It actually is something... That it is the natural law that has been there for all of mankind and Satan would seek to undo or reverse that since Genesis and continuing on so we have in Scripture we have our first bishops there we have St. Peter and St. Paul there guiding us and we have had the church continuing to guide us along in these roles now we want to talk about the husband as decision maker. Leadership is going to cover a lot of different things. Tonight we're going to focus on be, he being the decision maker. Now let's look at how he's supposed to do this. Again, if we say he is to love his wife as Christ loved the church, this means that he can't use this role for selfish reasons. This actually should be a duty of honor. And so he has to be considerate and, and thinking about the well-being of all those in his family. He needs to be praying about the decisions that he's making. Consider the impact that they're going to have on each and every family member, on our wife and on our kids. And we, we discuss things, but then the final say-so comes back to the husband, the father, the leader of the home. The family is not a democracy. The family is led by the father. Now, in doing this, the husband develops a feeling of importance. Because if he is not in that leadership role, if he's not that decision maker, then what is his role in the home? If the wife steps into that role, then her role is vacated. Wives who tend to lead are very heavy burdened. They, they tend to, be, to, to seem to be worn out, very stressed, full of anxieties. Whereas, um, you know, if you have a husband in that situation, you know, we'll see that he'll be playing around a lot. He'll be into various different pastimes. He won't be focused and plugged in at home. And you look at look, look at the media image that there is of the husband and father, the father in the home, in, in entertainment and in sitcoms. He's looked on as a buffoon, uh, almost another kid in the house. So what, tip, what tends to happen is that that might seem funny on TV, but what happens in the home is a tragic thing. He goes wherever he does have a feeling of importance. So he plugs himself into his work. He joins social clubs. He goes uh, in various different ways wherever he does have that feeling of importance. And then what happens, his family ends up going astray, falling apart. So <clears throat> this is the thing that has to happen. Husbands, dads, we have to step into that God-given role that we have as leader, as decision maker. And husbands and wives need to work together in this. For In order for that to happen, for the husband to step into that role, the wife cannot be there. She has to be what? She has to be submissive, as the scripture says. And that's what we're going to talk about next time on The Family Matters. God bless you.